maybe the best parlay piece to go with Rennes. It's Roma hosting Salzburg and Roma at minus 150. Salzburg at plus 435. I thought Roma money line. I thought Roma win this game at minus 150. I stick them with Rennes and there I am and I'm happy and there's no complication. The draw is at plus 275. The total is at two and a half with the over being at plus 105. I think Salzburg are going to have to play catch up here, Matty. Um, I, I completely agree with you, and I think this is probably the most interesting Europa fixture of the entire round, in my opinion. Um, Salzburg is one of the most difficult teams to keep off the board. Even in Champions League qualifying, only one game they they were shut out in, and that was against Milan, surprisingly, um, where they lost 4-0. Um, on the flip side of this, Roma definitely going to have to get some scoring going, being at home at a much bigger advantage than they are on the road. Um so far this season, Roma has kind of been hit or miss, right? They're either going to score two or three goals or they're going to get, you know, 10 expected goals in a game and score zero. It's all about finishing their chances. And recently in the last, really in 2023 so far, they've gotten much better um, at finding ways to finish those chances that they are creating. Um, and we did see plenty of chances in this first leg last week. Um, yet we saw a one nil score line in favor of Salzburg. So, um, I do think Salzburg are going to be able to manage at least one goal in this matchup, and I think Roma should be able to win this game. Um, I do expect them to score twice. Anytime I can get them to score over one and a half goals at home, um, I'm all for it. However, in this matchup, I'm just going to take the over two and a half goals at a nice price of plus 105 in this game. Effie fancies Salzburg to score twice. Why would you do that when you can have them at minus 145 just to score once? Um, oh, have okay. loss. Yeah, I see Roma winning this game. I see, in fact, I'm happy to go with the Roma and Rennes parlay, uh, like minus 155, minus 150, but I'm happy for Roma to qualify in this at plus 100. So Roma win by two goals or they win through the back door of extra time and penalties. Uh, you know, when I... When I looked at this match, uh, I said both in score. But then I remembered Roma are playing. And then Roma, you know, because you got you got one side, Salzburg, who are like a mini Ajax. So they get all these players, all these talents from all over Europe, um, from leagues that you haven't even heard of. They get the best players, you know. Uh, they've done a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of good work. They, they brought out many good players who are now playing in, in top leagues, in the, in the top teams. They came from Salzburg. Um, and they, they tend to have a lot of quality in this season. Yes, they still have a lot of quality up front and uh, generally in their squad. Now, they're, they're, they're better at home. Uh, they're better at home than they are on the road. However, um, this is a very tricky match because they won the first leg at home by 1-0 and now they don't even need to win. they probably going to go in there, maybe a, a force a goalless draw, which is not in their DNA. This is not a, a side that is uh, like a Juventus uh, or a Sevilla or an Atletico Madrid, where uh, if a, a, a goal a goal is draw suits you, you're gonna play for that. No, they're, they're gonna go in front. They're gonna look for goals. The thing is, can they score them? I believe that they can score them. But Roma, uh, they've been keeping an awful lot of clean sheets, especially at home this season. They've they've been able to shut out um, numerous sides. Uh, but I don't trust this Roma side. I don't no, know. You're right not them. to trust I, them. Yes, they're they're a broken side. So I'm not sure if uh, Mourinho is a problem. I'm not sure if something else is a problem. Uh, to be honest, I do think that Mourinho is a problem, but uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's a strange match. It's a strange match because I do see an under. I do see Roma 1-0 nil to 0. Nil. Um, I do see Salzburg scoring a 1-1 one -one draw, a 2-1 win for Roma. I, I don't see Salzburg scoring two goals, to be honest. Um, they don't need two goals. They just need, if they score once, it's over. Uh, so, very tricky match in my perspective. Um, I wouldn't go anywhere near that Roma money line. Uh, if anything, I'd take the both to score, and then maybe one more for uh, you know Matt's uh, bet to be won. So yeah, I think there's gonna be goals here. Yeah. Okay, Roma for me. I think they win the game. Um... This is the crowd. I, I think it's just going to be... This is everything to Roma this uh, this season. Uh, and they kept so many clean sheets as well. And on their day, they can create. They are stubborn. 
with Mourinho, 1-0 is enough to take it and then stretch the game out. I'm just wondering whether Salzburg are going to be getting caught between do we defend or do we attack? If we attack, then Roma have got the players to carve them open. Salzburg know that if they get a goal, then Roma have then got to score two. And it still may not be enough for the home side. But plus 100 for the home side to qualify. I, I just believe that that's probably the way that I need to go. But I'm also happy to go with Roma in a parlay with Rennes uh, winning as well. Minus 155, minus 150. Uh, Salzburg to score at plus 115. Yeah, Roma are a bit dodgy. I mean, yeah, do you trust Roma? That's the one, isn't it? But that's why we gamble. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, please. Uh, okay, over two and a half goals at plus 105. So hopefully that's a 3 0 because you haven't gone for both teams to score an over. So 3 0, that will do me. That means my money line's in and my to qualify is in as well. Roma to qualify at plus 100. Let's 